Well, this is the scene you probably imagine for the 4th of July, fireworks and fun. But for Leah McCleskey, a night that started off having a good time ended with her in the Augusta Burn Center after fireworks exploded on her lap. It happened on the 4th of July when the mom and her family were near a middle school in Columbia. That's when it went from one second, us watching Connor with a sparkler, smiling, laughing, looking up at the sky, to a giant explosion, um, loudest thing I've ever heard. Emily Scarlett is at that scene with what happened that night and why the Columbia Police Department is looking into it. Dondi, they're investigating whether a crime was committed here at Hand Middle School back on July 4th for an event not sponsored by the school. Two families were enjoying the fireworks when an explosion would bring their regular routines to an abrupt end. It was horrific. Eager to celebrate the 4th of July, Emily Rawl and her husband decided to watch the fireworks at Hand Middle School with the McCleskies. Me and Leah were sitting on her blanket that she had spread out and um, her son was sitting in her lap and then he got up to do uh, another sparkler with his father, John. Those precious memories would be changed forever in the blink of an eye. It was just a giant explosion right there and I just saw a huge flash and heard the loudest sound I've ever heard. Me and Leah were side by side and I w had been told she went three feet in the air. It, it exploded in her lap in the exact place that her four-year-old son was sitting a minute before. Uh, I turned to see my wife on fire. Uh, I ran over and I immediately tried to put out the fire, uh, realized that the stuff in the fireworks was not gonna go out and started removing clothes as fast as I could that were on fire. John says a group of Good Samaritans immediately came over to help, including a doctor who dialed 911. My eardrum was ruptured and I had some small first degree burns on my arm. Leah was in even worse shape. 8% third degree burns to her legs, and these are large wounds. There's four very large wounds on her legs. She has multiple wounds on her wrists and arms where she had tried to defend herself from the explosion and the blowback went through and got her on the face. Their four-year-old son Connor was unharmed but still scarred according to his father. Long term he's going to need a little counseling and a little help just like the rest of the family. John continues to work in Columbia while traveling back and forth to the Augusta Burn Center. She is in discomfort and the, the hospital has to give her a good amount of pain medication for her to be able to continue through this, but she has the best attitude. She's so tough and so positive considering what she's going through. I'm really not sure what happens, and that's what we would like to find out. John says he's not sure if this was an accident or intentional. He's hoping that anyone with any pictures or cell phone video from that night will share that with police as CPD continues to investigate whether a crime was committed here. Live in Columbia, Emily Scarlett, WIS News 10. And Leah is scheduled to have her seventh surgery this coming Tuesday. She's still recovering, of course, at the Augusta Burns Center.